how to get RA and TA opportunities. Hey everyone, my name is Kajal and when it comes to studying in US, assistantship, be it graduate assistantship, research assistantship or teaching assistantship is a great way to help with your expenses including tuition fee. So how do we go about finding these opportunities? Number one is reaching out to professor but that doesn't mean that you simply write up email saying hey I'm looking for an assistantship and here's my resume. You actually have to do research about what your professor is researching. Most professors will have their own dedicated website. Go through it so you can figure out what topics they are researching at the moment. Also go through their research papers so you can have a conversation about it. With all of this information you should send your email. In your email include what are some of the topics you are interested in, why you are interested in working with this professor and what do you bring to the table. This means your skills and knowledge within that area. In a recent interview with a PhD student called Anna, I'll link the interview here, she gave another tip on when to email professors. The tip is email them off cycle. So a lot of students are definitely emailing them at the start of fall season or during admission times. Try and go for off cycle. For example, summer. A lot of professors are much freer during summer because they're not taking classes. Next is reaching out to their students. Not just professors, also reach out to the current grad students that are working in the lab that you're interested in working at. These students might be PhD students, existing TAs or RAs and they can help you in understanding what the professor is looking for and how you would be a good fit into the lab. So the whole point of this is when you're applying or when you're trying to get an opportunity, it's not just about what you want. It's also about how well you will fit into the lab and how you can help the professor with their research. This brings us to our third tip. Now, given that you're trying to figure out how you can help one of the ways you can help someone is if you already know a lot about that topic. So instead of just looking for TAs at graduate level, also look at TAs at undergrad level. So go to the university website and look at the courses offered at undergraduate level and see if there are any topics that you already know about. You can reach out to the professor and offer to be a TA for their coursework. Once again, go to the professor's website and make sure to look at the syllabus of the course being offered so you have a better understanding of what you can bring to the table and include it in that email. Now this will work throughout that is for all the semesters you can try and look at undergrad TA positions. For the fourth tip it's about your second semester onward. For a course that you've already taken you can reach out to the professor and see if you can be a TA for that course. A lot of students will get TAs this way. Because you've already taken the course the professor is more likely to take you on as a TA. Number five is for research assistantship. Similar to taking the course will help you get a TA it will also help you with a research assistantship. Let's say you're interested in working with a professor but you've not been able to get a response from them. You can take that professor's course you will get face to face time with this approach. Make sure to have a good impression and build a good rapport and then from there ask for working with them. Once again, make sure you're not just saying, hey, I want to work as an RA for you. Talk about the research you're interested in. Talk about what you bring to the table and how you can help the professor with their research. Number six is to go to the specific website that have all of these listings. So when I was working at UMD, there was a website called ejobs.umd.edu which listed all the assistantships including other part-time jobs and that is exactly how I found the graduate assistantship that I ended up working for. So make sure to look at specific university website not just the common career portal where these listings will exist. The reason I say this is because even UMD had two websites. One is the one that I talked about and second was a career portal which was for external companies to put their job listings. So make sure you're finding out the exact website or resources available at your university. Number seven is similar but it's newsletter. In US you'll find a lot of academic departments have their own listservs on which they advertise these jobs. Now you may be part of robotics department, mechanical or electronics. Now each of these departments will have their own listserv. So make sure to get on those listservs. Don't just stick to your department. If there's a department similar to yours where you think you can get a good opportunity, make sure to get on their listserv. Sometimes it's simply going to the department website and signing up or sometimes you have to reach out to someone to add you to that list. So make sure you're doing this. This is how I found a part-time position that I took before my assistantship, which was advertised in, I believe, the ECE department, but I was on the list, so I saw it. I was able to interview and get the part-time position. Next 
simply go and knock at people's door now this is especially great when you're just coming to the us for the first time and before the courses have began as soon as you land instead of trying to settle in just go to the university and literally knock on a professor's office door and see if they're willing to spend 5 minutes to talk to you again make sure you've looked at what the professor works on so you can talk about that and also make sure to carry your resume with you now i know this is going to be very intimidating because some people may simply say no but keep trying you never know who might say yes also don't get sad if you don't get it right away a lot of people find these assistantship in their second or even third semester so just keep trying now if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a like and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video